two, one, go blog. Welcome. Hey. That's automatically everybody's favorite intro. <laughs> ben, what what show are we talking about? I today? believe we are talking about Dongan Ronpa. <laughs> that was more than one punch. Oh my god. How could you? I, I, I like how I have the gall to like <laughs> pretend like I'm beating you up when literally the thought of us getting into any kind of physical that you would destroy me. Sure. Welcome. Okay. Hello. Hi. A Anime April. We're past the halfway point now already. <laughs> Not for us. We're time traveling again. What the fuck else is new? I've been actually getting a lot of these done like a week in advance. Wow. Like a, what, today's, today's a Tuesday? Uh, yes. Yeah, so we're recording this a whole week before this is going up because I'm trying to just get as much shit done ahead of time as possible. Uh, mostly so that Zero Incorporated can just get things done now and not be like, hey, I got this done like two seconds ago, like the fucking Your Name one. We're like, <laughs> okay, this is done, go. Or, or, or no, no, the, uh, the My Hero one, the very first one. Oh, Literally right. that same morning when we got it out done Jesus. in time. So yeah, thank you to her and, and Cliff for that. Anyway, yeah. hi, Ben. Hi. You've not been on one in a while. No, and no. Here's, here's a real good question. Why am I on this one? I play like the, like, <laughs> the most stupid characters in this show. Well, oh, wait, you're not Max Middleman? Max, oh. Max Middleman isn't just a, like you with a fake name. You know, yeah, that's <laughs> everybody. It's finally time you knew Max is actually oh me. God. I put on this like this ever, suit, this will, like fake will, will skin he, suit. Will, will he ever hear this? I, I don't know. Max, if you ever hear this, I love you dearly, and I would, <laughs> I would never mean that. Um, He's heard all these stupid jokes. <laughs> oh, oh, this Max Middleman is just basically like Ben, ben Diskin, Diskin di diet Ben diet skin. Yeah, that's that was, that by the way, really people, good. that's offensive to Max. I would just not do that if I were you. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I can't, I can't speak for him, but I know I'd be offended. <laughs> Are you offended when you're just like, ugh, he's just like, he's just like the old version of Max Middleman. Max Middleman is the new hot. No, that, that's what I'm gonna say. Okay, he's, Max is the new hotness. He maxes the new hotness, and you're, and you're just, you're just old and tired old and saggy man piece of shit. Yeah. Anyway, I can barely speak anymore. Let's but... talk about this fucking show. Okay. Because this is, I, I believe, this was one of the most requested ones that I got last year, oh. and had not seen it yet. Mm. Um. It seems like the beginning of every one of these is like, I didn't see the show right when it came out. <laughs> so then I turned to guests who did see it, if not right when it came out, but closer to it. So, oh, yeah. so you start. How did you get introduced to this fucking show? Um, this fucking show. I got introduced probably from just seeing like the OK meme and just going, what the Every, hell is everywhere. this? And I was like, what is this? Is this a show? Is it a comic? Is, well, I don't know what this is. And I was like, OK, well, I'll take a look at it. And um, uh, that's, yeah. That, so so thanks internet memes. That's oh, okay. that's how I found out. And I see you're watching it in Japanese on Crunchyroll. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Okay. Um it uh yeah. And it's a really it's a really kick ass show and I'm I'm glad that it is it's received the uh, the uh, 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 critical acclaim that it has. Yes. Uh I uh like the scrub I am waited for the dub to come out. Uh if I can do that with the show, I often like to do that. The anti weeb. I know, yep, wrong with that's you. Me. How dare you? Uh I've I've really been doing that <laughs> like like knowingly for a very long time. I don't know what it is. I think just like, you know what? No, actually, no, I do know what it is. I don't think I've ever addressed this particular point on any Curb Logs, where, as particularly the ones that are like, this anime that was like the second coming of Christ that year, like Attack on Titan. Yeah. And like, what was something like, what was before that? Like, uh, I, I remember Haruhi when that was like fucking massive. It was like oh, the yeah. show that everybody was talking about. Um, but uh, but what I've noticed about my, myself with those kind of shows, mm. like not just One Punch, but like, when they like take over the fucking universe, I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna wait. This is the total opposite of what everybody else does, especially now with how easy it is to just get anime like immediately. I'm like, I'm gonna wait until the dub comes out and the hype is gonna die down a little bit and I'm just gonna be able to enjoy it and just watch it for what it is and not be constantly bombarded with memes every other second out of every orifice of my social media that I don't understand. Now, <laughs> That don't happen no more because even the dubs are coming out for fuck's sake the same day that they come out anyway. So I'm just like, all right, well that problem's eliminated. But yeah. I had a feeling this is one that they were going to try to get on TV. I wasn't surprised, and that that was this was a Viz show. Right? Uh, that's correct. Yes. yes, yeah. So um, so I finally watched it. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. So so when you started watching the show, yeah. Did you go in, like, pretty blind onto, like, what the fuck it was even about? All I knew was that it was about a dude who can beat anybody with one punch, but, like, that that wasn't really the point mm -hmm. of the show. And I was like, well, that's, that's intriguing, because, you know, most of the time, and I'm, I'm not trying to be little DBZ, obviously, uh, but, like, it's, we're, we're so used to, like, I must get stronger to beat this strong opponent. I met a new opponent. He's even stronger. I must get stronger to beat that guy. Yeah. And so this is, like, the complete opposite of, like, it's a dude who's, literally the strongest guy in the world. Yeah. And so it's basically, this show is the most badass show about a dude going through an identity crisis ever. <laughs> because that's really what it is. It, it's, because uh, it's like, 
anti tropes. Yeah. It's like, because I, I don't even want to say if it's necessarily like, uh, you know, spoofing shonen specifically. It, but, no, but it, it, it spoofs kind of a whole bunch of different genres, but at the same time, it doesn't make fun of them. That's the interesting thing. Like, the characters in this that are totally anime tropes, like Genos, for instance, I mean, he basically looks like fucking Hollow Ichigo. Yeah. I mean, it's like, it's a tragic backstory. I must avenge, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but, like, you wind up really liking him. It's like, you go, like, actually, he's an entertaining character, and he's fun. Right, so, right, writer's very classic, like, uh, Moomin Rider. Moomin Rider was my favorite character oh, yeah. in terms of, like, the main ones. Uh, I wish we got to see more of him, though. Mm. Um, but yeah, like his kind of thing was, and even like, and like Sonic, like comes in as like the I will defeat you. I am your bitter rival, and then you punch me in the balls, and I go. Kind of thing. <laughs> um, it, it's it's weird because like it, yeah, it seems very it it's so very self aware of like every episode. There's just like some kind of like this is this trope or whatever. And we're going to completely fuck with it and just have Saitama just be like, I don't know what's happening. Where am I? What am I doing? <laughs> Etc. Yep. Um, so I started watching it and uh, it, it took me it took me a long time, really? honestly, to, to really like much like with uh, another show, which I'm going to be doing one for this year, uh, Hunter Hunter, where I like this enough that I'm going to keep watching it because it's interesting and it's vibrant and the animation's really cool. And it conceptually, it's got some cool ideas, but I'm not like into it. And I feel like weirdly, I feel like I didn't really get into One Punch like fully mm -hmm. until like the last two episodes. Huh? Uh, because so as I was following it, uh, I remember so a, a lot of people were telling me like what the deal with Saitama was. Okay. Uh, in his whole like, he's the strongest being on earth, and he can literally kill anything with one punch, and he but. It was confusing to me because I didn't, I feel like I didn't, and to some extent, I feel like I still don't quite get, like, the deal with him. Mm -hmm. Because the point, the points that I kept getting from people that were trying to explain him to me, and then even when I just experienced the show for myself, seemed very, like, inconsistent or, like, contradictory or whatever. Because I didn't, I wasn't fully clear on, like, so does he care does he not care? Does he want to fight? Does he hate fighting? Does he like being a superhero? Does he not? Hmm. Does he want to get stronger? Does he not give a fuck? Like, it seems so, like, all over the place that I wasn't really sure, like, what to, like, I don't want to say necessarily to relate to, but what to, like, grasp onto in terms of what is interesting about this main character, other than just he's funny and the shit that happens to him is funny. <laughs> um, I think the shit that happens to him being funny is, of course, a big draw, but... Um... The, the interesting thing about Saitama is that he's really one of the most human characters on this show because I think everybody like, – like, okay, to, when you think about somebody like, say, Superman, a lot of people will claim that, like, unless the writers write him in a certain way, he's really unrelatable mm -hmm. because, like, he's always been Superman. He's yeah. from another planet and he has these superpowers. But Saitama is relatable because he's this dude who has reached the pinnacle of success in his field that used to give him pleasure – and now because he's so unstoppable, it's not fun for him anymore. So really, it's sort of his quest to, to care mm -hmm. because he no longer does, but he still feels like, no, if I, if I keep treading through these same waters, eventually I'll, I'll find joy in this again like I used to because yeah. it used to be this big thing for him. I want to I wanna save people, and now – I mean, it, it would be like, um, like for me, if somebody said, "Ben, you're you're like the greatest voice actor in the world, and you're you're so good that we don't even want to hire you for anything. We just want to give you money." <laughs> and I'm like, "Well, but I mean, okay, I like I like employment, but <laughs> no, but, the, but in the future when they just record you doing like every uh, vowel and consonant sound, and they can just like program like a fucking Siri <laughs> of Ben Diskin to just give any performance they need." Right. See, that done. would suck for me because I'd be like, "Well, <laughs> god damn it, I, I I don't have a life anymore. Like p part of what I, I do for a living makes me." happy and if without that I have nothing and so that's really where so I think I think everybody's gets to a point not necessarily where they're the best at what they do but they get to a point in their lives where they feel like they've peaked they've peaked and they'll never be better than this and now they don't know what to do with their lives right. they're lost and that's really that's really why Saitama comes across as like this dude who's just kind of there just doing weird shit and then stuff happens to him and then he beats it and he's like all right now what yeah <laughs> Well, and that, that's what was kind of annoying me because, like, I, so I remember in the first episode uh, when he has the dream about, like, fighting, like, a bunch of, like, monsters or right. some shit and he feels alive and he's all passionate and shit. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, okay, like, what you were just talking about? I'm like, okay, now I, I get that. That makes sense. But, like, with each episode, it just seemed like he was still just like, 
I don't know, whatever, man. I don't care. Like, his monotone, or not monotone, but his, like, his, his like, blank face, like, the, like, the, what, when he looks like just when one just draws him as normal and he has, like, the very basic kind of style. Yeah. Um, is funny, and it, like, lends itself to, like, you know, a lot, because the show has a lot of really, really good gags. That is, that is one thing that I would definitely give to it, I think, over Mob. Like, Mob is funny, but I think that One Punch Man had, like, like, overall a lot funnier gags and, like, good, like, kind of universal comedic timing. Mm. Is that something, little side note, I love anime, but anime doesn't make me laugh super much. I, we just did the Cowboy Bebop one uh, the, 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 uh, a couple days before this, and um, I was talking about, I watched, like, the Mushroom episode where they all, like, trip out oh, or whatever, yeah. and, like, that makes, that genuinely made me laugh a lot. Mm-hmm. When, and, and that's not, a, a, that's not a, a slam against anime, but, like, Japanese humor is very, very different, like, culturally. Yeah. Uh, but One Punch, I think, had a lot of, like, I don't. I don't want to say American cartoon, but like very universal senses of like boom, like like wow, like type you know, jokes that would land really well with good timing and shit. Yeah. And I think that 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 I, to me, that's what Saitama lent himself to the most was just comedy. Mm. But I feel like I wasn't getting a whole lot of the like the the path, like the the, the journey of his development and like what his whole deal was. Like what, something I was I was looking forward to seeing also was was because uh, Genos is like you were saying he's the stereotype anime character right uh which which i thought oh maybe he'll find some new sort of you know happiness in his career path with bestowing upon what he knows to others which is another great uh you know kind of not not even just an anime trope but like i think that's also i I feel like that's why a lot of people who become veterans in any industry they're in you know want to be teachers because they genuinely want to pass on what they know to other people and not just to make money off of kids that don't know what the fuck they're doing. <laughs> Be careful who you d- learn from. Um, <laughs> seriously. Uh, but with Genos, too, it just seemed like he was kind of like... Like, I, again, like, first episode they meet, and he does the, like, and now I'm going to be all anime-looking, and I'm going to pretend like I'm a sensei or whatever. I'm like, oh, okay, he's getting into it. And then it goes nowhere. <laughs> and then it's just like, oh, and then Genos just, just comes in, and he's like, Master, I'm going to go do the thing. It's like, okay, do the thing. And I'm like, we just did this! <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> God, <laughs> like, uh, that was my frustration is like so much of that stuff. It's like, this is a great idea. This is such a cool concept. And this is like funny and interesting and unique. And it's going nowhere. Well, yeah, like, but I mean, keep in mind, he doesn't, he didn't go out looking for a student. So like, right. that's not really one of his motivations is like passing on his knowledge. Right? He kind of can't pass on his superpowers, for instance. Mm. So like, he can't make Genos the strongest guy in the universe to like match his own. So mm. it's basically just kind of like, yeah, okay, kid, you want to hang out? I mean, <laughs> all right, because he's, he's just babysitting. He basically <laughs> is. I mean, like Genos is a badass, but at the same time, like he kind of keeps getting his ass kicked and yeah. having to be literally put back together. Yeah. So I mean, I, like, okay, well, going back to the dream that you were talking about yeah. that he has in like I think the first episode. Yeah. Um. Like, yeah, the reason why he's excited is in the dream. Yeah, he's beating everybody with one punch, but they're actually posing a threat to him. They knock him into a building and he bleeds. Like, he doesn't even get to experience that anymore. Mm -hmm. So, like, really what he wants is to just feel alive again, and he can't. Mm -hmm. And so that's that's what makes him uh, uh, an interesting character is, is it's his own personal dilemma. It's not really... Uh, his his uh, his backstory. I mean, his backstory is ridiculous too. Mm-hmm. It's like, how did you get this super these superpowers? Oh, lots of sit ups and push ups, and I ran a lot. And it's like that's the stupidest like like example. Right. And that's the point. It's like right, yeah. it doesn't matter. And, and that's the thing too is like, see stuff like that. That doesn't bother me because yeah. like I love, for instance, like when Toriyama. Like speaking of the Dragon Ball comparison, when Toriyama does dumb bullshit like that, when he has like completely asinine reasons for things. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to think of like a specific example that like. Or like okay, even in, in like Super recently, okay, we're like uh, okay, over my head because I haven't seen. Well, okay, it. so in so in Super, there's a part where they're doing a uh, like two neighboring universes are having a tournament, and they have yeah, yeah, and then so so Universe Seven, which is the like our universe with like Goku and everybody, they have to pick five fighters. So they're like, oh, let's get Boo because he's a good guy. Let's have Boo be on our team, right? Mm-hmm. So you think, oh, it's gonna be because it's like Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo. Boo, and then a new character that you'll learn about later. Okay. Um, and then there's like the five other characters from the other universe, and they fight. Uh, but literally, the first part of the like tournament is they have to have some kind of written exam to determine that they are smart enough to be able to not just like blow shit up and just like cause massive destruction. <laughs> so how did Goku get? So it? yeah, right. But <laughs> Boo literally can't even fit like like past that point. And it, 
on one hand said, oh man, he Blue didn't even get to fight or whatever. I'm like, no, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> they make a big fan of like, oh shit, Majin Buu's gonna find this tournament. And then of course, in the current like multiverse tournament, he is actually going to fight. Oh. But nonetheless, like that gag, it's like, that doesn't bother me because I'm like, that's funny. Mm-hmm. Like, because it's so ridiculous and like, it, it's unexpected. Uh-huh. So yeah, like Saitama's backstory, like I remember seeing that. I'm like, oh yeah, this is funny. This is just like, equally as ridiculous as everything else going along with the show. Yeah. What I did also like too, um, and I think also because they didn't overstay their welcome, and this is also relevant to you because of what you did, oh. uh, were the, the monster of the week, like episodic characters. Yeah, they definitely didn't overstay their welcome. No, but, uh, but like... <laughs> splat. The, yeah. Uh, did you go splat? Did you die? Uh, my f- for the car guy, yes. I don't remember if oh, Ground Dragon... That's right, you are Dragon. a car guy. Yeah, I yeah. think Ground Dragon, like, just, just, like, they just forgot about him yeah, or something. Yeah, maybe he'll be back. Who knows? No, probably not. All right. <laughs> He's the villain of season two. Oh my god, you heard it here first, dragon. everybody. Straight from the source. <laughs> Straight from the underground. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is good. Um, but, uh, no, I... Okay, each of the... I mean, they, they start off very strong with the fucking vaccine man character, which uh, is yeah. like a double, like, Pick, clever yeah. thing. Well, no, 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 because he's actually... Because, do you know, like, the, the origin of, like, One Punch Man is, like... He's derived from Anpan Man, which mm-hmm. is, like, another character. So, like... There's a there's a villain in that in Anpan Man that looks like Vaccine Man. Oh, and he has Freeze's voice, Freeze's Japanese voice, ah. who they got for the show, and they and Yusuke Murata illustrated him to look like all DBZ and Piccolo esque, and then for us we had Sabbath, right? L- Sabbath, LOL. Yeah. Uh, and then fucking same episode, Bryce is a is a Titan. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> You know, like like that shit. Like that that's it's such a the first episode is a really, really strong start. Like yeah. I saw that and I was like, Okay, I'm in. I like from episode one I'm like I get why everybody likes this so much from the get go. Yeah. But it was like that in between journey and like what was keeping me entertained were Everybody else but the main characters. Which is kind of the point. Was that the point? Do you well, feel like that was the, I mean, was the case? You can even look you look at Saitama himself, and I mean he's designed, obviously with the exception of like the really badass moments, mm-hmm. to basically look like a background character. Mm-hmm. I mean he doesn't he's like very poorly defined. He's just sort of like this guy in a doofy looking costume because he's not really the main character, it's all the side characters who really sell you on it. Mm-hmm. Like uh, during the uh, the final two episodes, for yeah. instance, um, the fight with I forget what his his name is, but he's like the dude who's like has marbles in his head and grows multiple heads, and you break uh, the marble, you kill the head. Uh, oh, is that, that the that like guy. the crazy like alien thing that was like attacking all the other guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, yeah like yeah. that scene is like really cool, but yeah. it has like nothing to do with Saitama yeah. because yeah. like Saitama would just like mow that guy down. The other guys add like a, an amount of like dramatic flair to it, but like. The whole point of Saitama is, is he's the main character and he never feels like the main character. And it's him, like, not only that, but trying to be the main character in his own show. Like, he can't even get recognition with the hero organization. They keep yeah. thinking, like, hey, he's like some sim C level guy, Cape Baldy. I don't know, he's bullshit. Yeah. Right? Like, and that's, that's his whole life. It's like, he can't get enjoyment, like, of the actual act. He can't make any progress in the, uh, the, the superhero organization. And heck, if they actually ever did realize that he's the most powerful person on Earth, he'd be immediately promoted to the top, and once again, he'd have the exact same problem of, right. like, I can't, I'm not going anywhere, I'm not achieving anything. I think you just predicted the ending. <laughs> <laughs> he finally gets the recognition he deserves, and he's just like, and now I'm here, and now there's nowhere to go but down. <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna go to the grocery store now. Here I go. I wonder what would happen if he like punched himself really hard in the head. That's the ending. <laughs> he just fuck it. Just <laughs> flat, flat, flat out dies. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it's uh, there's something about like the execution of like what he was doing and how he was acting and what he was saying that was just like I I didn't know whether or not I was like rooting for him or not because again it was it was so just like do you care or do you not care or like. Are you just going through? Because here's the thing: if it, I feel like if there was more like, like clarity to like, okay, if it went one way and he's like, I don't care, and he's just like, he happens to be around and he happens to fix everything, uh-huh. then that goes on the comedy side of just like, oh, that's just funny because it's just situational bullshit while all these other things happening around him are so ridiculous. Yeah. And then if they go the opposite way, where he does care and he's going through that struggle, I feel like then his kind of like, okay, mode like interferes with that hmm. because it, it just seems it, it I feel like it's two different things that are kind of like not fully agreeing with each other. Oh. I think I get what you're saying. I mean I see I look at that and I go, 
these two things coexist pretty well mm -hmm. um, because of the fact that, like, on the one hand, he doesn't care, but what he wants to do ultimately is care again. Right. And so, like, it's basically him almost trying to, like, simulate caring. That's kind of why he does this in the hopes that, like, eventually, if I, it's, 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 it's like the definition of insanity. You keep doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. He's like, eventually, I'll, I'll keep fighting crime, and, and suddenly it'll become, like, fun and enjoyable again. It'll be this thing that I love and care about. Mm -hmm. And, uh, it's like it, it never really does so far. I mean, even his fight with Boros, like at the very end of it, spoilers for anybody who hasn't seen it, he beats Boros. Oh my God, wow. And, and, like, and, but, and like he uses what he calls a serious punch, meaning mm -hmm. the entire time he's basically been not even trying. Yeah. And it's like Boros is like, yeah, don't lie. On his deathbed, like, this wasn't even a challenge for you. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like, fuck. Yeah. So like that's... So, like, to me, it's, it's, it's the fact that it, it's hard because what we're being asked to do is look at what a character like this would really be like in real life. Mm -hmm. it, it's kind of like every time I see – this is a bit off topic, but every time I see um, a character who's an immortal in a show, yeah. they're always, like, power-hungry and, like, obsessed with, like, ruling the world or some weird crap like that or, like, I must be the strongest vampire or whatever. But, like, the reality is if you were an indestructible immortal person – would you really behave that way? Mm -hmm. Knowing, for instance, that eventually the sun is going to go out and all life is going to cease to exist except you. You're going to be alone for the rest of your natural yeah. life. Do you yeah. really want to lead a life being an asshole to everybody? Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. like, those are the questions that you'd have to ask. And I feel like Saitama is being faced with these with similar problems of, like, well, I'm the strongest there is. Nobody can kill me. Nobody can do anything. And, like, the one thing that used to make me happy is empty and meaningless for me. What the hell do I do? Well, it's funny because uh, a while ago you, you brought up the Superman comparison. Mm. Uh, 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 the case that I always think of, really the only case I can, and I'm sure Xander probably knows of other specific things like because he's much more into actually following comic book stuff than yeah. I am, but uh, I love, genuinely, su I love Superman <laughs> in Justice League. Yeah. Because, it, and, and, and I like what I saw of the Superman animated series as well, mm. but... In Justice League, what what makes Superman interesting in that story is because he is in that very same kind of position we're talking about. I, I don't want to even say a Saitama position because it should be the opposite way. Mm. Uh, Saitama's in a Superman position. But S Superman is in this, this case of like, okay, I have to make sure that all of these other people underneath me don't fuck up. And I have all this pressure on me all the time. Like, he is all-powerful and, like, virtually never really gets defeated. I mean, you know, they're, they're, he has enemies that can prevent, you know, present issues with him with the kryptonite shit or whatever. But, yeah. Excuse me. But by and large, um, he's that, like, pinnacle of can never be taken down and, like, is at the peak of everything, you know, on Earth as far as we know, mm. uh, you know, by and large. But, um but but because he's in that position and because of like you because you feel for what he's having to go through and like how he has to deal with like you know the core like the other six members and then when unlimited happens there's like hundreds of them <laughs> and overseeing a whole thing and yeah. then like knowing that like earth is like we are afraid of you guys like yeah. you're protecting us and also we're like with like with like cadmus and all that stuff yeah. it's interesting it it's is. like okay cool so like they make this character the like a character like superman who is like by both comic book fans and people who don't get comic book shit often, like, picked on severely for just, oh, this character's fucking boring and there's nothing to him. Right, well, again, it all depends on how he's written. And, yeah. and he's written very well in that. He's, he, he's given, like, a compelling personality and, like, issues. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, like, but, I mean, even Superman, he's at least got kryptonite. Yeah. Like, so, you know, in a way, even Batman could, could like, fuck him up yeah. if he had enough kryptonite. So, yeah. but, like, Saitama got no kryptonite. And, and see, but, at the, while you say that, I, I feel like the... The, in the spirit of that, the weakness of Saitama, like the in-universe weakness, mm. is himself in terms of like his almost kind of like I, I've seen some people. I don't I don't know if this is a textbook case, but I've seen some people compared the way that he acts to like someone who is like clinically depressed. Oh, who yeah, just is flat, and you know, who knows for mm. certain if that's what the intention was or otherwise. Sure, uh, but I I think that like see, but. I, I don't know. I can certainly see a, 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 a point of that. I mean, he, yeah. he, it's literally the one thing in his life that gave him drive and meaning no longer gives him drive and meaning. That's mm -hmm. kind of like a staple of depression. Yeah. It's like you can't find happiness yeah. in things that once made you happy. And, and, so, like the, and the midlife know. crisis thing and everything. See, yeah, it's weird. Like, I, and, and maybe it's also because like we don't fully even get to see uh, – actually, this is something I'm having to think about with my own stories as well uh, because we really only see – 
Saitama in the beginning of his not of, of his life, but like like just before he gets his powers. Yeah. And then we skip way ahead to however long it is or whatever to where he's super fucking powerful. But we don't really get to see the journey that leads him to that point. I don't know if you know people who know the manga stuff or what mm. might be coming later on might know better, but. Like, I don't know, I, I guess it's just because, like, okay, and now here I am, and it's just, like, whatever, and you're just kind of left to wonder, like, well, what is your... Because, I, I get, you know what I think it is, is sometimes I feel like when I get frustrated with his, just like, yeah, man, whatever, I'm just like, fucking shut up. <laughs> I feel like I'm actually yelling at a person who is depressed that won't, like, help themselves or, like, <laughs> try, and I'm just like, just... Fucking shut up then, or whatever. Or then don't bother anymore if you don't, if you actually don't like it. Like, that's the other thing. It's like, hey, if you don't like doing it anymore, then don't do it anymore. Well, to be fair, though, I mean, like, who else is going to be Boros? Like, like if, if he was just like, yeah, I'm just going to go on vacation. If he, if he pulled up, what's his face? Um, uh, oh, uh, Metro Man from, um, uh, uh, what's the name of the movie? Oh, uh, uh, Mastermind. Uh, Mastermind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where he's yeah. like, I'm going to be oh, music. No, no, sorry, Megamind. Megamind. Me Mastermind is the <laughs> Newgrounds cartoon that my friend made that DreamWorks had to name Megamind that instead of Mastermind because of that. Sorry. Oh, that's Side funny. note, a little trivia for you all. Interesting. Carry on. Anyway, yeah, but point is like, like where it's like he just like goes ahead and like, I'm going to just take on a different career because like, well, then the entire earth would get destroyed if he's just like, fuck it, I don't want to do this. So like he has this, he's basically forced into doing this thing that no longer makes him happy. Mm -hmm. And he also forces himself to do this thing that no longer makes him happy. So it's just like... <laughs> You you kind of feel bad for him yeah. at the end of the day. He he, he just he, he he's like a ah. Uh, it's like when they keep dragging yeah. uh, Mark Hamill out of Joker retirement over and over, and it's just like you got to do Joker again. We're doing this thing. You got to do Joker again. We're doing Killing Joke now. You got to do Joker again. We're doing another another new TV show. Well, I don't know. I mean, are they really dragging him out of retirement? I don't know. That's... I'm not sure. Maybe just because I, I always hear about he's like oh, I'm done with it. Oh, I'm done with Joker now. Oh, I'm gonna come back. <laughs> or, no, actually, maybe it's, no. no I, I forgive me. That's a bad example. I think the Miyazaki. Constantly <laughs> retiring, and then it's like, fuck it, all right, I'm doing another goddamn movie. <laughs> fuck animation <laughs> forever. Yeah. Uh, he did not say anime was a mistake, internet. <laughs> sorry, sorry to break that to you. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I see, Miyazaki is one punch. See, I've, I've had many conversations. This is why I, I wanted to bring somebody like you on that, that like, is like, avidly for the show because mm. I feel like I've had these kind of conversations with many folks, and I'm, I just feel like I'm not fully convinced of, like, no, like, there's something I'm missing. Like, no, you're uh, not missing anything. That's, I think you just don't like the character. That's, well, that's okay. And, and, I mean. here, and this, is, this is something else I noticed, too. Mm. And, and maybe this says something, like, I don't know if it says something good or bad about me necessarily, but it says something. So, okay, I, actually, and here's another little funny story. So, uh, this is one of the first auditions I think I had at Bang Zoom where I got to audition for, like, all of the main characters in a show. Because huh. uh, previously, I, when I'd, I'd been here for like about a year and a half, two years, uh, I usually only read for like one or two characters in a show. But they let us read, uh, they let you read, read for like, I think everybody too, right? Uh, I know you read for like, like Saitama and some of them. Saitama right? and, uh, oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I read for like four yeah. guys. So I, I read for like all the leads and stuff, and it was fun. Mm hmm. That's the other, actually, another side note of a side note. That's also partially now why I don't watch shows in Japanese if there's like the dub isn't out yet because I'm afraid that if I like the show, I'm going to get too attached. <laughs> and what was proven to me when, when I was uh, auditioning for Moomin Rider, and I think I saved him for last, I remember, and I, th I, I, re I think I recorded them. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember uh, I... I, I, I like looked at some footage of like like oh and he stands up against the deep sea king yeah and I see that and I'm just like I fucking love this character I've seen two scenes with him and I love him hmm. like this character and his whole like I am overcoming adversity it's just, it's it's why I like Deku from My Hero Academia and characters like that hmm. and the fact that I step back after I finish the show and I'm like okay of the main cast the only character that I liked and who got like three episodes of screen time at best was fucking Moomin Rider. And I'm just like, what does that say about me that, like, I couldn't get into the two main characters of the show, and I got into this person that was labeled as a main character, but isn't really? Because well, he's barely in it. Wait, he's labeled as a main character? Oh, no, M Moomin Rider and Sonic are, like, marketed like they're main characters oh. in One Punch Man, and they're fucking, I mean, Sonic is barely in the show at all. Yeah. He's in, like, two episodes. And, and at least Ryder gets, like, I mean, like, Sonic gets, like, funny scenes, but, like, Ryder gets, like, like, Oh, scenes that That's just like, like pull your fucking heartstrings. 
Uh, that I love that episode too with Deep Sea yeah. King. That's that's probably my favorite. Hmm. That and the the Boros fight I think are my two favorite episodes of the twelve. It's twelve, right? The yeah, twelve. Part? Yeah. Yeah. Um, excuse me, but yeah, and you know what? Here's the thing too. I I want to be fair, and I and I'm like, I don't know how much of the next arc is gonna happen with uh, with in, in accordance to the manga. I feel like I even heard at one point like season two is gonna be like some. Like a news story, like like a filler story, but that's like co-created by one or something. I don't, oh. know, I don't know if that's true. Huh. But I would like to learn more about the main characters. Like I would like to actually get to know a little bit, like like further about what, like particularly Saitama and Genesis deals are, because I feel like if I get to delve a little bit deeper with them, then maybe I would like grow to like them more. I feel like there's a, like a th- like that already exists yeah. though. Like like it's like a oh gosh, what is it? It's like a it's not a movie, but it's like like a, a like a mini series, and it's like them hanging out or something like that. Is it like an OVA or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, OVA. I think I, I believe there is for One Punch Man. Oh, okay. I, and, and if I recall, because I know I watched it. Oh gosh, what, what the hell was it? I feel like it was about like pre, uh, super powered uh, Saitama, just like him, just like what he's going through. Oh, like how he got his costume and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and something about Genos was in there too, I think. Yeah. But like. Yeah, so that might already exist. Because like, I would love to see, like, Saitama, like, in his prime or, like, in his state of, like, when he was being really fucking happy about shit. Yeah. And, like, and then what led into why is he feeling like this? Like, what was, was there, like, a particular breaking point or something or, like, one thing that happened that led him to finally... Or, or I don't know, if maybe, like, when he fights Vaccine Man, if, like, if that's, like, when he goes, damn it! If, like, that was the moment where he's like, shit, now I realize this is what it was. Oh, I don't think he realized, I think he realized it a while ago. He was yeah. just like, he was, he was looking at Vaccine Man going like, oh, fuck, this is the, this is it. Somebody yeah. I could be. Nope. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and also because he goes from just, like, some guy to, like, and suddenly he's like this. Yeah. And, which I know, like, oh, it's the ridiculousness of that or whatever, mm. but there still is a lot of, like, you can tell there's a lot of world building because we're seeing all this stuff with, like, this, like, hero organization, like, all these other characters that have had, like, three lines mm. each <laughs> at that organization of guys. The or weird whatever. tank top dudes. I will never get over that. Yeah. Well, not even now, but, no, like, like, got, like Zombie Man and some oh, of those guys yeah, yeah. or whatever. And I'm like, oh, yeah, we know, like, we know, like, nothing about these people yet. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, and I haven't read any of the manga. I don't know anything that happens ahead yeah, of me time neither. or anything. So. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, like, it... Well, as far as the stuff that, that really kept me coming back as well, and, you know, whether this is, like, something kind of superficial or otherwise, um, you know, is the uh, the visuals. Oh, my God, yeah. I mean, I think that, that even more so than anything to do with the story or the characters, because we've gone on for half an hour about that. Right. But I, you know, superficially or not, the reality is what got the show to be, like, the show of last year mm-hmm. was the fucking animation. Um... Yeah, I, I, I'm not going to deny the animation is gorgeous yeah. in this show. Um, I feel like there's quite a few shows with really good animation, mm-hmm. but this one just, it's just beautiful. And I mean, it's its like the fight scenes are all really, really well done. Yeah. The choreography is great. Uh, the, the movement for all the characters is really spectacular. So I mean, like I look at that and I'm just like, yeah, I, I, I'm not going to give all the credit and say like, oh, it's because it's a pretty looking show and that's why it, 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 it was popular. But... That definitely has something to do with it. Well, yeah, it's, it's an amazing looking show. Yeah, and, and I can't and I can't deny that either because I mean, like, uh, part of the reason why uh, <laughs> Yusuke Murata, uh, I believe his name is, um, decided to draw the prettier looking version of the of the manga. Yeah, um, which is amazing to me that you have in this case three different uh, incarnations of the same thing happening because there's the web comic which one does himself. Right. Uh, and then there's the like the graphic novel version of it, which is Murata, by yeah. Murata. And then there's the anime, <laughs> right. which granted also the anime is in this um, this very nice era we're having where anime are taking season breaks yes. and not just <laughs> doing an episode every week with filler in between because, dear Christ almighty, I don't want that shit anymore. Oh, boy, let's uh, have some more Aronkar filler. Yeah, that car, hmm. so. yeah, well, I mean, Bleach didn't even fucking get to finish, for God's sake. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Oh. Naruto did. Yeah, Naruto's and, finally yeah, <laughs> and and uh, well now they're going into Boruto, so now we got oh. Naruto Nar- 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 Ball wait, GT. Wait, really? It's, <laughs> yeah. it's not just it's not just going to be a movie. It's oh actually, yeah, like, no, no, they're doing they're doing they're more series. stuff. They're doing a manga as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. God. <laughs> yeah, it'll never die, yeah, people. No, nope. yeah, and well, well, and One Piece is still going, and we'll <laughs> go until until the day we're dead. Yeah. Um. But uh. But yeah, like, <laughs> um. The the reason that uh I believe Murata 
uh, was was doing it and why I think it later got published. I, for, I forget if it was, I don't think it's in Jump, but whatever weekly, weekly magazine it's in. Yeah. Um, it's uh, because he really liked the story a lot and mm-hmm. he liked the kind of um, inversive Sub- subversive trope shit that was going on. I was like, hey, this is cool. I want to do something with this. This deserves to be seen by more people. If I do this version, then more people will see it, and they did. Yeah. And uh, now also people read the fucking webcomic version, bad art and all, <laughs> because one's brilliant. Um, but yeah, and what I was learning about, I mean, like, you know, Madhouse are, you know, among some of the best uh, in terms of Japanese animation houses. Yes. Um, and I mean, like, from what I was seeing from my own research is that, <laughs> pardon me, um, the uh, the staff of the show really went the extra mile. Like they really went like it shows farther than you would expect for you know e- even a show like this where you have twelve episodes to take your time with. It's like they they really went like balls to the walls with like every action sequence and all the gags and everything and like every except for when it's like meant to be a joke. Every frame of animation in this, like every like just piece of art, every every still looks gorgeous. Mm. Like, it, it's no fucking wonder to me why, like, I mean, even you were joking about, like, the memes or whatever, but I'm sure you were probably seeing gifts of fucking, like, oh, yeah. him punching a guy and they exploded into a billion pieces of, like, t- 2,000 frames of animation in a second. Yep. Or whatever. You know? No, yeah. Um, and so, like, for all my gripes, like, that is one thing I absolutely cannot fault, like, and that's something that, and, and as an animator, too, I'm glad <laughs> that so many people are appreciating it for a visual perspective, for, for especially for 2D animation, because yeah. like, that's great to see people you know, into that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess, um, what else is there to say, even? Um, it's, it's a good show, and I'm looking forward to <laughs> season two. Good. That was very yeah. good. It's a good show. It's a good ben, show. Ben Diskin, 2012. <laughs> uh, five years ago. <laughs> I, I, um, so current. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> I, 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 um, I, again, I'm intrigued enough that I want to see more. I'm, I'm going to watch the second season when it comes out. Uh, I guess, in addition to just seeing more, I want to learn more. I want to, like, you know what? It's reminded me almost of, like, this weird thing about, uh, which, by the way, uh, still haven't played 0.2, but I'm going to talk about fucking Kingdom Hearts for a second. Okay. Where it's like, I like this, and I, and I like Kingdom Hearts more than I like One Punch Man, but in terms of, like, I like these characters, and I like this setup, but... I feel like I, there, I, there's so much conceptually about this that's cool, and I'm not getting, like, the meat of this somehow. Like, there's something about this that, like, I'm missing that I'm not quite getting that I wish I could understand. It's a very different kind of hmm. setup, but the feeling I get of, like, I want something more from this, and I, I can't quite place what it is. It's that same kind of feeling that I get. Uh, no, I think I know what you mean, yeah. I mean, especially, well, I mean, if we want to talk about Kingdom Hearts for a second, like, that... That game series has, it feels like it's been going on for so long and yet so little has actually happened. Mm-hmm. Like, the, it's one of those things where I'm like, I don't really know how to feel about the characters anymore. And it was, began at a time when, like, this was totally acceptable and considered really high quality, but mm-hmm. now we look at it and go, wow, that's really bad. Yeah, well, so, Kingdom Hearts 1 is a mess. Yeah, well, that's but, what I mean. So well, it's like we'll that see, kind of thing. Like, no, I, I think it has to do, I, just, I, I wouldn't even agree with that necessarily. I think it, it has less to do with, with, with what's happening and more so with, like, the the payoff and the feeling of satisfaction that comes with it. Because, like, mm. my, my argument is, like, Kingdom Hearts, as convoluted as it is, there is an explanation for everything, and there, like, virtually everything. Yeah. Uh, except for the stuff that is intentionally still a mystery that, like, we don't know about, like, for three or whatever yet. Mm, right. Um, and, and, like, you know, there's a result of everything, but it's, like, the outcome of it where it's, like, oh, like, that's it? It's, like... Like you want you because you want to feel satisfied from mm. whatever the payoff of that journey with a character is. Yeah. Um. You know. But like, I don't know. Like, there, there's, and and I I feel stupid even saying this because I feel like I'm just not caught up with the rest of the universe. For <laughs> like, am I one of the few people that like, doesn't feel this way about? Because I haven't really met anybody else that's just like, eh, I don't really like Saitama or I don't, or I don't get Saitama or Genos or any of them or whatever. Mm. I don't know. Maybe I'm just dumb. No. That is a likely... I, <laughs> I think you get him. I just genuinely think that his character doesn't interest you. I think that's really what it is. Mm-hmm. Because, like, from what you've said, like, it sounds like you, you understand exactly what they're going for. It's just not an interesting thing to you. And that's okay. There's, I mean... There's I, nothing wrong with that. I, I do think that... I mean, I'm, I'm glad that I had... Because, again, I wanted you on this because I wanted, like, someone to challenge my viewpoint and to give me another view of this. Mm. 
Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, I guess, I guess it's also something of like, you know, okay, because when I keep when I keep going back to these, like, this is the show of the year, like the Attack on Titans and yeah, and like Kill a Kill, I think was kind of the one mm. like between that. Yeah, Kill a Kill was pretty good for a while. Yeah, you know, they, they certainly like. Like like one punch was like big big yeah. attack on titan was big big, big, big yeah. like sure but but like that that show that like defines like this was the anime of twenty whatever right, right. Um, I think that like my my uh, what happens with me a lot is like when I finally watch those shows and I and I and I try to be open and, and not like overhype myself or buy into whatever and just like watch it and enjoy it for what it is and I usually always do I don't dislike the show mm. but I'm noticing a trend of it it's like, okay I'm gonna watch the show of this year and I'm like it's okay <laughs> I enjoyed it but and and even I'll go so far as to be like I I get exactly like Titan I didn't even finish Titan but I was like, I get exactly why this is like fucking huge right now yeah that one's a bummer because that one everybody just kind of collectively was like oh this is not that great actually really <laughs> which, oh. yeah yeah oh. most people I talk to about Titan they're just like I don't give a shit about season two which is a bummer hmm. uh, I would like to finish that someday because I never really did no, fully I, I don't know I I actually I like I liked Attack on Titan yeah I don't think it was a bad show um but like yeah. But season two took way too long to get here. I feel like the hype is just kind of <laughs> well, they just it. were waiting. Ah, so it takes, when takes did, a while. When to did make the first stuff. one? Was oh. that twenty fourteen? Yeah, or like thirteen? It, it oh was. My God. It, it's really been a while. Wow, like, that's yeah. so crazy. Yeah, because there's been so much new stuff that's like yeah. taking its place. It's like, and remember that Attack on yeah, Titan, yeah. kids? Yeah. Like, that's, uh, not not quite. We're not we're not there yet because we have. We have Dragon Ball Super. That's true. Go back to that. Is remember Dragon Ball? I was like, Dragon Ball never left, guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's always fucking been here. You're just doing more. Like, <laughs> God damn it. Um, but I have not been able to breathe for all 40 minutes. Yeah. This wow. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's so stuffy in here because you're just so hot. You emanate oh. so much steam all the time. Well. That was good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> only Toonami. Um, <laughs> but... Oh God, I'm light Steve Bloom. Oh no, no. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of like Steve Bloom. Steve Bloom sucked. Uh, haven't, yeah. you, haven't people said that about Keith? Which Keith? is which is bullshit. Keith Silverstein. Keith, Keith is amazing. Keith is I great. think maybe maybe because Keith has like played Steve characters before oh, or something. I, I guess. I love Keith. Keith is amazing. Yeah. Also, I love him on Deep Sea King. He was he was lovely. <laughs> he's a he's a beautiful man. Yes. I love you, Keith Silverstein. I'll never hear this. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, I guess I don't know. Any other closing thoughts about this shit? Um, it's it's a good show and it's worth watching. Uh, even if it's not really your type, your cup of tea, you might still find something enjoyable about mm. it. And uh, look forward to season two. I'm sure it's going to be cool. Yes, look forward to Ground Dragon uh, being the main villain. Oh right, yes, Ground and Dragon and a big uh, deal. Uh huh. Um, I want to say. Uh, hopefully that the next Curb Log after this will be on the predecessor and better show, Mob Psycho 100. However, <laughs> that's debatable, but okay. Mm. That's it's a matter of opinion, See, like, and I wish you were there. You, you know what's interesting is that, like, the way you felt about One Punch Man, that's how I felt about Mob. We were just like, eh. I just didn't give a shit, didn't give a shit, didn't give a shit. And then finally, like, the final couple episodes, I was like, was like this, oh! oh, this is starting to get good, yeah. and it's over. I'm like, yeah. fuck! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so, like, I, I totally Hope we get it. a fucking season two of that that's, shit at That's some another point. thing of, like... In terms of the animation, holy fuck. The yeah. animation is gorgeous yeah. in Mob Psycho. Yeah, for sure. Very, very like, different, uh, too. It's, it's different, but yeah. it's still really cool. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. Uh, well, I hope that that will be the next Curve Blah we have. Uh, I will say at this time uh, that Chris Kaysen, uh, who is now not sick anymore, thankfully, but cool. he is super busy. I think he's working on a new show uh, and has been st stuck in the writer's cave, as he's been putting it to me. <laughs> Uh, working on stuff. But it's, it's the uh, the Grand Dragon spinoff. Yeah, yeah. We can, yeah, we can sure. finally announce yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. Have, uh, o OVA and a, and, a, and a video game tie-in uh -huh. and season two and the spinoff. Those are separate things. All the yeah. plushies that they yeah. got to make too. For, yeah. for sure. <laughs> uh, the, I've, I've stashed them all in my closet. Uh, you can't have them. Um, yeah, hopefully he's going to be able to join me for that. I If, if he can't, uh, I will see about maybe trying to delay it a bit or something. I don't know entirely what's going to happen with that yet. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we'll have that, and then otherwise we'll have Hunter Hunter and Tales of Asteria left. Oh, right on. And we're already, like, like almost done with fucking Anime April. My God. How come this isn't just anime? Because I did 
Mayorville. All you guys forgot that All we did right. Mayorville. Every, literally, Mike and Steve said the same <laughs> shit. They did the X-Men uh -huh. uh, uh, cartoon one with me. You did the spectacular Spider-Man. Oh yeah! And everybody fucking forgot that I did Mayorville. The, clearly, you, this is God, you really man. needed to just not just not do it. You need Jesus. to know your audience apparently. Oh man, no, I need to know my friends are all <laughs> idiots apparently because I wanted to do anime pro uh -huh. and then Mayorville. I'm not, I'm not doing Mayorville this year because I don't have enough shit to fill a full month. I don't have time to watch all the. I was thinking about watching all the Netflix shows and stuff, and because uh, Guardians is coming out, yeah. I think in May. But I was just like, I'll put off until maybe maybe I'll do Mayorville in 2018 again because okay. I'll have enough. If anybody cares enough to see that kind of content <laughs> for me, I did that Breaking Bad curb blog. I think that's like the least views I've gotten on a curb blog ever because it was so just like, why are you talking about Breaking Bad? <laughs> Let's talk about cartoons and weeaboo shit and video <laughs> games. And I'm like, all right. All right. So anyway, I got way off topic. Thank you, Ben Jamin. You're, for you're, joining you're me. welcome, Kerbuffer. You want to plug your shit? Um. Um. Oh. All oh, right. Uh. At Benjamin Diskin on Twitter. I'm technically at Ben Diskin on Instagram, but I never freaking use it. So don't waste your time and follow me there. Uh. Facebook.com/slash Ben Diskin official, and uh, be sure to get those Ground Dragon body pillows while they're in stock now. Yes. Yeah. And also, uh, as of the if if I'm hopefully correct uh, by the time that this comes out, uh, a, a certain second season of another show. That you're a new character in will oh, have yeah. just premiered. So if you wanna. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna be. I'm, uh, I guess I. I we're time traveling, I keep forgetting. Yes. I am uh, Kinzo in uh, uh, Blue Exorcist Season 2. The new Kyoto. Or no, 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 that's fucking Kenshin. God, no, what is it? What is, it? <laughs> is it? Is it Kyoto? Did they go to Kyoto? Is that the whole, like. I have no it? idea. I don't know. I'm in it too. Yes. I think I'm, I'm in the first two episodes that just premiered this past weekend time travel, this future weekend, future past weekend. Oh, God, this at, is confusing. At fucking. <laughs> This is, Jesus. Well, this well, is why we blog. don't p fucking promote shit. Yeah, God. no, because we're awful at it. Yeah, and that's why we're not at the convention. <laughs> oh. But hopefully you, if you were in the Seattle area, you saw uh, Kira and Johnny Bosch and Christine Cabanos and a bunch of them because they were promoting it for Aaron E. Plux this past weekend. So, yeah. Yeah. So we're in that. Hooray. I'm not doing a Blue Exorcist curve blog because I don't know anything about the show, unfortunately. And I, I saw the first season a long time ago and don't really remember me, much. I've seen like three episodes because I wanted to see Kira's cute girl with the eyebrows. <laughs> the end. Uh, thank you, Ben. Yay. Hey, in the comments below, everybody. Uh, Talk about how much you don't want us to do any more of these fucking no, car vlogs together ever. because no. we can't do anything right. No, the comments will be, do more of these. You're all hilarious. Fuck. Aww. Um, yeah, tell us in the comments below uh, your thoughts and hopes and dreams and happiness things about One Punch Man, about how you probably like the show a lot more than I do and who your favorite characters are and favorite moments and favorite fights and favorite whatever and your hopes, dreams, aspirations for the future season two that I think is coming out soon-ish. Uh, I think so. I have no idea. So. I think I think it's supposed to be spring. Wow. Really? Yeah, so oh, it damn. should be like, maybe, maybe like May. We'll see. Right. Maybe it'll be an anime. All right. <laughs> We're going to go eat now. Thanks. Right. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Please. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, no. Too many punches.